the do's and don'ts of agent recruiting, and the top five things to do to build and sustain a great real estate offers. So number one, agents, producing agents that you want to attract to your company. Number one, gifts. Send them gifts, specifically a book that you know that they are interested in. How do we know that? There's this thing called social media. See what they're interested in. Send it to them. Hey, Michael, saw that you love baseball. This is a story about Willie Mays. I mark page 33, paragraph two for you to read. It's really exciting. Uh, and I didn't know this about him. So number one, gifts. Number two, handwritten notes. Handwritten and hand address notes. Still the best marketing tool. The reason why we do this, there's a method to the madness here, is when we receive, human beings receive gifts, we receive handwritten notes. What happens is the dopamine, the serotonin, and the oxytocin start to flood out of our brain. There's an instant connection. Number three, invite these people to events, to trainings, get them live, get them in the feeling, get them in the flow. By the way, most companies don't do this. Most offices don't do this. And this doesn't matter if you're a big box company or you're a small indie, it doesn't matter. Get them to trainings. Number three or four, I forget what number we're on. Go over the numbers and have them do it on a spreadsheet. So when they're plugging in the numbers, when it gets to the bottom, they see how much more money they're gonna net with you than they are their outdated, old-fashioned, stale company. Then take that number, let's just use 80,000, because these are real These are real numbers, 80,000, and more than likely, they're gonna be in the business for another 10 years. So that's not 80,000, that's 800,000. If you throw a little five or 8% Vanguard uh, interest rate or residual, whatever you want on that, then it gets closer to a million. Write and give them a compelling offer. Seduce them with an offer. One thing I learned is I'd much rather not make money from an agent that's with my company for a little while than not make money from an agent that's with another company. And here is the retention part. Treat your own agents like partners, like family. Be in their lives, meet with them regularly, right? Because if they're coming in the front door and walking out the back, that's not doing you good, uh, doing you any good anyway. So here, here are the other two, a few do's. Imagine this, having agents from other companies as guests in your events on a panel. Number two, guests on your podcast. Interview them and give them a copy of the podcast for their marketing material. Also, interview them on video and give a copy to them for their marketing purposes. If you do this with 50 agents, 15 to 20 will join your company. And the others, hear this, because it happens, the others will refer you agents that are no longer happy at the company that they're at. Those are all the do's, those are the steps. There's really only one don't. And this is the biggest mistake recruiters, OPs, TLs, broker owners make. Don't talk about your company for more than maybe three to five minutes at the most. You don't need to. That's not what they're there for. They're there for them. If you need any help, shoot me an email, ed at edfordice.com. I'd be more than happy to coach you, to guide you, to come into your offices and do a training. But these are the do's and don'ts of agent recruiting and retention. Go have a great day.